Welcome to this instructional video demonstration on the new Trimble Business Center monitoring module. This module is available starting with Trimble Business Center version 5.4 as an add-on to TBC Intermediate or Advanced Editions. It's also available in the following TBC subscription offerings, Survey and Mapping, Construction, Mobile Mapping, and Enterprise. The Trimble Business Center monitoring module enables survey and construction customers to generate manual or campaign-based style deliverables from any survey data in Trimble Business Center, such as GNSS, total station, level, or point cloud data. The user can define warning and alarm thresholds to flag any points with significant movements over the time series. You can also visualize and quantify movement patterns using 3D displacement vectors. And finally, generating comprehensive displacement reports and interactive charts to meet client requirements. An overview of the manual monitoring or campaign-based monitoring approach is as follows. On the left-hand side, we start with the data collection and data scheduling in the field. This can be done using total stations, GNSS, both RTK and static, level, or scanning. You can also use a field software such as Trimble Access Monitoring to streamline the scheduling and collection of that data while in the field. That data is then transferred to an office package using a tool such as Trimble Sync Manager to seamlessly transfer that data between the field and office or manual data transfer via USB or other method. In the office, we can use Trimble Business Center Monitoring to manage that data over multiple epochs or multiple periods of time. We can process and perform any adjustments as necessary using the Network Adjustment Tool, and then we can create those monitoring deliverables. The TBC Monitoring Module works first by the data being collected in the field with the field software, such as Trimble Access. That data is then imported via a job or a GXL file, or even a generic CSV ASCII file, into a new TBC project. That TBC project is saved as a VC file, and we consider that our first epoch, epoch zero, or the reference, or also baseline. That is then synchronized to the monitoring cloud project based on that timestamp of data. Now for each subsequent epoch of data, we import it from the field software, we create that new .vc TBC project, and we synchronize it to the monitoring project in the Trimble Cloud Service with that timestamp. Once we've collected all of our necessary epochs, we can generate those monitoring deliverables such as reports and charts in the Office software being Trimble Business Center. Here in TBC, we have a project where we're monitoring a building using both GNSS static observations as well as total station data. If I zoom in, I can see the total station vectors displayed here. So I have multiple points that were measured in this project. Now, using the standard tools in TVC, I can perform any necessary quality control and adjustments as necessary. So if I want to adjust this network, such as fixing points in the network and adjusting, I can do this. Once I'm done with my network adjustment, to access the monitoring module features, we navigate to the monitoring tab. We navigate to the monitoring tab. Here you'll see six different commands. Starting on the left-hand side, we follow the commands from the left to the right in order. Starting with assigned monitoring project, we'll click this command. If you haven't already signed into your Trimble ID in TBC, you'll be prompted to do so. Now, once I've signed in, the Assign Monitoring Project command appears. You have two options. You can select 
from the drop-down list any existing monitoring projects that you may have associated to your Trimble ID, or you can also create a new project. So in this case, I'll create a new monitoring project, and I'll give it a name. This will be called Building Monitoring Example. Once I've given it a name, I select Create Project. And now I choose the monitoring epoch or time series of when this data was collected. I can see in the title of this project I've collected it on November 2nd. And so I can select the drop down and select that date range from this window. I can also apply a hour and minute of the day if it's necessary. Once I've selected that, I press save. And now we've created a monitoring project, which you can see in the Project Explorer on the left-hand side. The next step is to create monitoring points. And you can see this command is now available on the TVC ribbon. What the Create Monitoring Points command will do is first check the assigned monitoring project, in this case, Building Monitoring Example, for any existing points in the monitoring project and will automatically select them if those points with the same point ID exist in the current TVC project. In this case, it's a new monitoring project, so no data exists. The only prompt that's necessary for the Create Monitoring Points command is to select which points in your project you want to monitor. In this case, I want to monitor all of my points, so I can do a general rectangle select. And then at the bottom, I press Create Points to associate those to my monitoring project. Now if I look on the left hand side, I can see under my monitoring project, I have a monitoring points drop down with all of those associated points. Now you'll notice that they're all flagged in red. This means that the monitoring data needs to be synchronized to the monitoring cloud service to calculate displacements. We can do this using a third command called sync monitoring project. What this command will do is synchronize the data in this TVC project with the existing cloud data. In our case, we have no existing points in that cloud project, so it's only synchronizing these points here. Once that's done, you'll see that the red has been removed from these points. And now if I view a point, I can right click, select the properties, and see in the properties pane information about this point and the project. So the reference time set, whether that point has been synchronized or not, any displacements relative to the reference epoch, which there's currently only one set of data, so there's no displacements, and then thresholds for warning and alarm. Your warning thresholds are to alert you if there's any points that you may need to keep a closer watch on if they exceed this threshold. Alarming thresholds are useful for immediately warning you of points that are far out of the tolerance and action may need be needed to be taken to warn the proper stakeholders. Any of these thresholds can be changed, such as if I would like to change the 3D alarm to a higher value. You'll notice once I've made that change back in the Project Explorer, this point is highlighted in red, meaning we need to synchronize this to the cloud project. So any changes we make to this monitoring point in TVC will be flagged red, notifying you that you need to synchronize, which is quite simple by clicking on the sync monitoring project command. Now you'll notice we have three other commands that we can view. These three commands are only useful once we have more than one set of data associated to the monitoring project. So next, we'll view our second set of data.